Senator Chair Crockwell. Lasker Herlock. Um, firstly, I want to extend my sympathies to the Quinn family. Um, I moved to Dublin in 1995. I had never met Fergal Quinn, but I had heard of him. And from 1995 to the present day, Fergal Quinn is responsible for gatherings in my house on either a Saturday or a Sunday, where we sit down and enjoy the Super Quinn sausages, because he developed a sausage that can't be beaten anywhere. Um, I don't know that my cardiologist would uh, necessarily agree with him, but he, he developed some fantastic stuff. The next time I thought of Fergal Quinn was during the debate to save the Shannath. I never dreamt once in my life that I would actually find the day that I would be sitting beside the icon himself. But he saved the Shannon, and as such he created an opportunity for those of us who wanted to enter this house to enter it. I remember before I took my seat, one of my sisters remarked to me, oh God, you're going to meet Fergal Quinn and David Norris, uh, two icons. Fergal was a small man in stature, but he was a giant in Irish society, a massive, massive man. But the one thing that stands out in my mind, I'd love to have the story some of my colleagues have about him, but I only knew him for a very short time. I had the privilege of speaking on two of his bills. One was the uh, award system for Irish citizens, and the other one was on drones. And I remember I, I thought in information technology for 25 odd years and drone technology to me was really exciting and you know why would you want to condemn it he convinced me in 15 minutes of the dangers of these uh, uh, devices sneaking around people's back gardens looking in house windows and various other things and I spoke in favor of his bill but what stands out for me was the humanity of the man he could talk to a checkout operator or to a king. It really didn't matter. He treated them all the same, every single one of them. And the great shame, I suppose, is that his wonderful books are not part of the marketing uh, um, textbooks in our universities, uh, because he could teach some of the marketing uh, uh, authors that I read when studying marketing. He could teach them a lot. But Two things stand out in my mind. One was uh, when my granddaughter, my first granddaughter, was born. Fergal got word of it and banged in here to the Senate, sitting just behind me here, stood up and congratulated me. I don't know why I had nothing to do with it, but welcomed my granddaughter to the world. And that's a little video clip that we will cherish forever. And my granddaughter in years to come, when she understands the man, the icon, that welcomed her into the world. It'll mean an awful lot to her. And the, the last speech he ever made in this house, he took a few seconds to mention me in it. And for that, I will be extremely grateful. I'm terribly sorry I didn't get to know the man better. I never dreamt once in my life I would sit beside such an icon to have tea with him, to listen to what he had to say. We'll miss him, Ireland will miss him. And those stores that my uh, colleague Senator Boyan spoke about around the country where he went and helped people to reshape and relaunch their retail outlets. They'll miss him. I know that nothing we can say today will replace the vacant slot in your family, but do be aware of the fact there are still families gathering every Saturday morning or Sunday morning to have a Super Quinn sausage, but maybe it's not quite as good as the ones he originally developed. Thank you. Thank you.